if you were going to dr have a dream waistcoat in tweed, what would you prefer? Um, it depends on uh, different horses for different courses. It, I would say this, the vast majority of tweed vests that are in the market now are peaked bottoms. There's points on them. Flat bottom vests are a historical thing. It's kind of a timeless style, although the bottom points are fine as well. I'll do three. Bog standard. If I'm wearing a jacket and vest together, I would say probably pointed bottoms and probably no lapels. If I'm wearing just the vest by itself and I'm not going to get a jacket in it, then I would probably do the same lapels that Eric has on there for some visual interest. I'd probably do the peaks on the bottom, the points on the bottom of the vest. I could take it or leave it with the, the flat bottom or the points in the bottom of the vest. For if I'm doing something that looks a little period-esque, shall we say, um, then I'd probably do flat bottom, probably do lapels, but the same lapels that Eric has on. The shawl collar um, goes in and out of style-ish, and I don't know. It's I don't mind it, but it's a very specific thing in my mind, whereas the the, the peaked collar is a little bit more versatile as long as it's not like big 70s lapels. Um, but, you know, a, exactly what Eric has on, it's a little bit easier to get away with different things with. And I'm always, for my outfits, I'm always looking for versatility so I can wear it with multiple, in, in multiple scenarios. Um, Double-breasted and single-breasted Single breasted all the way, period. Double breasted is a very, very dated thing. It's it's in and out of fashion. It's out much more than it's in. So for my money, single breasted, period. And it also single breasted looks better on you know average to slightly bigger guys. Double breasted looks better on smaller guys and only smaller guys. Yeah. Yeah, you kinda of stole my thunder. Um that's basically that's everything I was gonna say. Um I wouldn't think that I, I, I like the uh, I like the flat bottom vest better. Um, I think it just works better with a variety of sporins. Witness the fact that right now the points on this waistcoat um, are going behind the sporin. I think a flat bottom waistcoat makes that a lot easier. It's easier to, to, to handle logistically, you know. Um, however, I think a flat bottom waistcoat will look very plain and very boxy and odd if it th does not then have some sort of lapel, which is why His Royal Highness's stuff is the way it is. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of shawl collars in general. I think that his waistcoat almost looks a little 1950s. And uh, when you're talking about double-breasted waistcoats, their high watermark fashion-wise, I'm pretty sure was the 1950s. They were super popular back then. Um, but even then, they never went completely mainstream. So. Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, I like the notched lapels. Just again, without a jacket, it looks good. If I were gonna wear it with a jacket all the time, I might consider actually doing the shawl. You know, I, I think I might steal steal his style a little bit. You know, take take something from his look. Um, but yeah, I, I I personally prefer flat as opposed to point. But you know, I'm I'm also guilty of wearing vests casually and sometimes unbuttoned. And I will say that if you're going to wear a vest unbuttoned, I think that the, the points add a little more definition, shall we say. So I, I think if you're if you're always wearing it closed, go 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 flat perhaps. And if you're going to wear it casually, run around looking like a rogue, then points look a little nicer. That's a fair point. Um, one other thing I'll point out as well, um, and I'm trying I'm not trying to embarrass you, Eric, but I'm going to point it out anyway. I'm beyond the embarrassment. <laughs> we. <laughs> We, we have no shame. Um, <laughs> the, uh, um, when you're wearing a vest with lapels, a tweed vest, what ends up happening is the back, the back, the inside of the actual tie. Lapel, the inside of the lapels is fabric as well. Not the satin kind of lining, it's fabric as well. So it will grab your necktie and kind of walk it over to the side. Exactly. Exactly as Eric's has a little bit. Um, yeah. You, you know, so if you have on a tie 
with a vest with lapels, wear a tie tack or a tie bar, and you know, have it up a little bit higher right around this level, the bottom of the V notch of the sweat or of the uh, of the vest or waistcoat, um, so that it holds the tie in place. Because without that, the material, especially I've noticed around my tweed vests, it will walk your tie over to the side a little bit throughout you know, you moving around kind of thing. Hey, thank you for watching. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications of other content. Have a great day.